reach for the sky, lady. This is the best gun in the whole galaxy. I paid a million caps for it, and it wasn't even brand new. You mean it? Wow. Thanks. I bet me and Stacy can get something real cool at Mick and Ralph's with that. Hey, buddy, spare a cap? I can make it worth your while. Ha ha ha! Oh, that's rich. You're not exactly my type. No offense. No, I meant I could give you a tip. Earn my money, so to speak. You look like you're new around here, so I'm sure I know all sorts of things you'd find useful. If not, well... It's only a cap. So what do you say? The first thing you should know is that Freeside is run by a pack of yahoos that call themselves the Kings. Their leader, who oddly enough calls himself the King, currently has his hands full trying to prevent an all-out riot in Freeside. That's two tips, but what the hell? You're a new customer, so the extra one's on me. Want to hear another? People in Freeside generally fall into one of two categories. Those who've been here all their lives call themselves locals. When I wish I had a gun. You here, by the... Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. Have a look, baby. Come on back if you have any interesting news. That band of crazy... If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supplies. Take a gander. I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Impress him, and we can talk. All right. Yeah, I've got a little side business going. What I'm about to share with you does not leave this room, eh? Over the years, I've gradually perfected my craft to the point of perfection. No one can distinguish between my work and the real thing. What I'm referring to is passports. If you've got the caps, I can whip up a strip passport which will fool even the most well-trained eye. Hey, if you're interested and have the caps, they go for 500. Any less, and it ain't worth the risk of getting caught. What do you say? You game? No problem. If you need one later, just stop in. What do you want to know? If you haven't heard of the king, he must have been living under a rock or something. The King has his boys all over Freeside. He controls the water pump and is essentially the go-to guy for what goes around here. They are the local energy weapon dealers in Freeside. When it comes to lasers and plasma, they're the only game in town, and they keep it that way. Gloria's men are the best armed in Freeside and ruthless to boot. But her brother, Jean-Baptiste Cutting, puts them all to shame. Their joint is the only place in Freeside to get it all under one roof. They've got gambling booze, chems, and whores. They're good folks, just don't cross them. They're known for tidying up loose ends with a bullet to the brain box. Anything else I can help you with? Thanks for stopping in. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we get by. Good selection from traders, and the Van Graffs keep things running. That's the thing. I have no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. If you hear anything, let me know.
Anything else I can help you with? Why? Do you work for one of the casinos? In that case, yes I do. Follow me. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. Hey. Check it out, between the dumpsters there. The last person stupid enough to follow me down this alley. Get this fool, boys! If it can be bought, it... Stop by Mick and Ross for all your shopping needs, ma'am. Cool. Can I try? Thanks, lady. Hey. Your lady friend needs to lighten up. Gun runners ought to help the followers by donating some of that firepower they've got. Howdy. I've been around a while, currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docks are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? What do you have in mind? The only thing I know for certain is that I don't know nothing. Feed a man for free, and he'll be back asking for more. Feed a man a bullet, you won't hear from him again.
And I may have answers. What starts in misery tends to stay there. Freeside wasn't Freeside until six or seven years ago. That's when Mr. House's robots rolled out of the Lucky 38 and started pushing everyone who wouldn't join him off the strip. Lots of folks died. Some scattered to the winds. The rest wound up in Freeside and seemed never to lose the habit of living like refugees. What about them? Pretty much the sort of gang you'd find anywhere else. Just with better clothes. The king himself, though? He's got that something special you can't put a finger on. Too bad he likes girls with skin. I reckon they care about getting water and electricity from the dam. And that's where it ends. The locals here are just an inconvenience to them. Something to step over or stomp down. They're here for the resources, plain and simple. Before or after the human race shot itself in the foot. I've been around long enough to have both opinions, see. Before the war, Mr. House was a famous captain of industry. Robotics, to be specific, seemed charming in interviews. Until he became a recluse. Since the war, though, <laughs> didn't make a peep for near 200 years. But when he came back, he came back strong and killed a lot of people. I don't know how they do it. They're like saints, those followers. If they didn't charge for their services, I'd think they was crazy. But nah, they're just naive. Warms their heart. Couple of rad scorpions, those two. Gloria is the stable one. But she'd slit your throat if there's a prophet in it. Or rather, she'd tell her brother to do it for her. John Baptiste is one of the sicker humans I've had the displeasure of observing. What did you want to know? Time you enjoy wasting isn't wasted time. See ya. Hello. All that wealth is wasted on the strip. There are people in Freeside who need food and medicine. All that wealth is wasted on the strip. There are people in Freeside who need food and medicine. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garrets, though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. What do you want to talk about? More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. What did you want to know? Bill Ronte installed that pump a few years ago, back when he was sober. It was a major improvement for the community. But lately, the Kings have started charging locals to use it, and NCR squatters twice as much. That'll come to no good. They've been Freeside's gang for the past five years or so, ever since Mr. House and his three families pushed everyone else out of Vegas. They've done a lot of good for the community, but that seems to be changing. The flood of NCR squatters has been an affront to them. I guess that explains the situation with the water pump. 
Usually, the king wouldn't let his crew bully folks around like that. I know they sell a lot of guns, as if that's what Freeside needs. I hear Mick handles the guns. No idea what Ralph does. Oh, them. They sell energy weapons, which are very popular with better-heeled prospectors looking to explore the wastes. Stay clear of them. Brother and sister are both psychopaths, though at least Gloria is rational. Jean-Baptiste likes killing. A den of iniquity. The Garrets do more than their share to keep the locals drunk or high enough to stay lazy. Their thugs, on the other hand, they keep wired on chems to stay dangerous. What is it with Freeside and brother-sister psychopath teams? What did you want to know? Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. What do you want to talk about? The big man around here is the King. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. What seems to be the problem? Okay, what level of care do you require? Anything else? The Old Mormon Fort serves as the regional hub for the followers of the Apocalypse. I am the administrator for this region. The followers of the Apocalypse aren't just interested in research. We care for our fellow man and do everything we can to help humanity. Here in Freeside, we provide food and medical services for those in need. We also have organized reconstruction efforts. With the help of Bill Ronte, we were able to install a water pump just west of here, but the kings quickly took control of the pump. We arose from the boneyards of Adidam years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to rebuild the wasteland and re-educate its inhabitants. We hope to forge a brave new world free of war and poverty by sharing knowledge and resources. Our primary goal is the free exchange of ideas. What do you want to talk about? Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher, not even a particularly good one. Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries, stim packs, out of barrel cacti, and other fantastic improbabilities. As far as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. For the past hundred years or so, the followers have managed to get by using salvaged medical supplies from the old world. But the side effect of medical success is that more people live longer. Funny how that works. Eventually, we'll run out of hospitals to loot. We need new ways to produce those supplies, or maybe old ways, if this research goes anywhere. I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup so late. Caesar can cite Cato to suit his purpose. Many people have spoken Latin. Some of them were quite pleasant. It's unfortunate that the language is now associated with the gentleman across the river. Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, bits and pieces here and there. The followers have extensive libraries, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even Caesar. Ah, I don't know anything that the others couldn't tell you. 
Caesar was one of the followers, before my time, of course. He wanted to rebuild the new world in the image of the old. A sad story of good intentions gone bad. In that regard, he's hardly unique. If you set aside his leadership capabilities, extensive knowledge, and ruthless cunning, he's just another jerk who steps on people to get his way. Oh, sorry. There's nothing new under the sun. If Agave and Mesquite were that miraculous, the locals would have figured it out a few thousand years ago. Certainly. Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. Certainly. Like I said before. Certainly. Me specifically? No. I'm sure Julie Farkas does, though. Lab coat, pointy hair. Answers to the name Julie Farkas, strangely enough. I'm sure she can find something for you to do. It might be kind of depressing and terrible, though. Kawiat Samaritanus. See you around. Hey. If it can be bought, it can be found it. Make it a Can't help but be impressed with what they're doing here. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule. And the king rules the kings, got it? Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Hey, you got a second? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong, or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. Great! Thanks! Thank you! I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously. Hey. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. My eyes on the street tell me you haven't paid our mutual friend Oris a visit yet. Until you do, we got nothing to talk about.
Personal space meaning anything? Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapon needs. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. I'd prefer you not kill anyone with a debt. It's a bit difficult to collect on a corpse. Just get the caps from them. After that, I couldn't care less what happens to those dead beats. If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. All right, 50-50 it is, but you better bring back all of the caps. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the Apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. Anything else you need? We've got liquor, chems, and whores aplenty. Pick your fix and we'll oblige. Our only rule is no sampling the merchandise. Caps paid in advance. If you'd like to do a bit of gambling, we have an exchange at the back of the casino on the left. Caps up front. We don't do tabs here. Since you're new, I'll lay out the rules for you. The prostitutes here aren't slaves. They decide who they service. You best make a good first impression if you want what they have to offer. Rooms are just a few caps a night. Your choice of company is extra, assuming anyone's taken a liking to you. Rooms are just a few caps a night. Interesting. Well, you're gonna need to speak with my brother, James. He handles all of the trading contracts and general operations. Just a few caps and it's yours. Up the steps, last room on the left. If you leave the Wrangler, we'll assume you're checking out. Later. How's it going? Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? We've got the basics covered, but... Now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay you finder's fees. Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a suave talker, someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. If you ever run across a sex bot, not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. Really now, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. 
The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Good. We can supply them with all the medics they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. We ain't scraping to get by, if that's what you're asking. The best place to start would be with Ralph, at Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. Talk to you later. Need something? Shove off. You're making my luck turn bad. Fuck no! No matter what that old bitch McLafferty says, my dad said I could be in charge of the New Vegas branch. Besides, I got into a little money trouble with the Omertas. If I quit the Crimson Caravan, how am I supposed to get the money to gamble? No, no, wait. Look, I just need time. Don't rat me out to them. You want me to quit the Crimson Caravan? Fine, I quit. You can tell McLafferty that she won't see my face again. You again. What do you want now? One of the families that runs the Strip. They're a pack of cheaters, but you still don't want to fuck with them. I wanted to be where the action is, so I got my dad to pull some strings and get me a cushy position with the Crimson Caravan. Everything was great until McLafferty came along. That old bitch is gonna hear about it from my dad, just you wait. Yeah, whatever. Yeah? Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Come on, stay in character. You're supposed to be heckling me. Hey, not bad. Your timing's terrible and you got no style. But you might make it as a professional heckler. What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Yeah, go on. Scram. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. How many chip... Hello there. Uh, great to be up here, looking down at all your smiling Weird faces. Weird robot. Yeah. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen one of those before.
cemetery. The more I think of you, the less I think of you. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. You're telling me, not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, People around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying, told you so. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. All right. I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? I never put much thought into the well-being my clients got out of my services. I suppose they only get as much as I put into it. Tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. See ya.
Hello. Lovely to meet you. I haven't the time to speak to commoners such as yourself. Bye. Hello. Lovely to meet you. In that case, I suppose you're here to collect. I apologize, but I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. If someone were to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? I'm short 90 caps or so, but I have a few cartons of cigarettes and some sensor modules I could put toward my debt. At this point, I'll have to return to California to start anew. I haven't got a cap to my name. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Admission to the strip requires an official passport, or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering, and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Thank you, madam. You may proceed. Peace, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Well now, it was Mr. House that made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't know. He'll be waiting. That's it. Keep moving. Oh, those last five shots were a bad idea. Going to have words with your commanding officer after this. Why do they call it a monorail? Just lost a month, It's cow. a train. I have half a mind to throw you all in the Are cell and let you already? sweat it off. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. They'll strip you to your fists. Sure, they say you get it all back when you leave. Me? I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table. Suit yourself. It's not my fault if they find your body dumped in Freeside. Come on, hey, baby. Come look on. alive, There's guys. There's more of this waiting for you time. inside. I've never seen a robot like that before. You hear about that band of crazy old... Hey! I'm so fucked up, I can't feel my legs. Don't give us any trouble. Should have brought something... Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Enjoy your visit.
Where to, partner? Penthouse floor. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Their marriages especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the Lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here. But why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh! And the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Anything you like, sugar? Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me and I'll add them to his collection. He'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. Why, I'm a Robco PDQ 88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino, or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. Why, sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, 
My neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. Mr. House has a lot of needs, sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Then maybe you shouldn't pry into a lady's particulars, hmm? Anything you like, sugar. Enjoy your time on the Vegas Strip. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Oh, come now, don't play the fool. Vegas has fools enough. A superfluity of them. They're what makes it so profitable. They come to Vegas chasing penny ante dreams of high living to feel like they're big shots, like they're winners. You see that you and I are of a different stripe, don't you? We don't have to dream that we're important. We are. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? What did you wish to know? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the tops. It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. 
Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. What else did you want to know? Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain... tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. I have to think that he found out about the Platinum Chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. What else did you want to know? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it, and I paid for it, dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of U.S. dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them... dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Frontal assaults on casinos, not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming. And all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. What else did you want to know? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. 
Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated, and the money started to pour in. What else did you want to know? It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the Platinum Chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? Well enough. Be on your way. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the High Roller Suite. You can bring your friends, too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Where to, partner? Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. You do? Why, that's just... Ben House floor. Casino floor.
Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Nice job out there. Wow. That's crazy. I thought nobody has ever been inside that place. That one must be... Aw, just when the standing around... Important around here.